Pretty in pink you Ooh, are. Ah. Listen, what, I mean, all, all the television success over the years, why all of a sudden, I mean, could I reckon this be your first time you're going out on tour, on a stage? First time on tour? I have been to Bognor before. Oh, well, <laughs> you've lived, Esther. But this is a, a whole proper tour. Yeah. With a, an audience with? That's right. Well, I was, uh, I played Dick in Bognor. In um, Panto? In Panto, and it was one of the most enjoyable experiences of my life. Did you have to I adored it. show the legs and the... Rather long boots, you know, leather up to the... Uh, th we won't talk about it. Well. <laughs> or maybe we will, leather up to the... <laughs> and um, so I'm really indulging myself at this time in my life. Is it a bit nerve-wracking for you? You're looking forward to it? What, what you are you going to be doing in the show? A bit of uh, storytelling, a bit yeah. of song. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you like singing. I like singing. They were saying that you would try... Or not, would Des do a duo? I would do, but we need a band or something. Next time you come on, okay. we get together, what would we sing? We'd sing from Call Me Madam, um, I Hear Singing There's No One There. Do you know I it? I Hear Singing and There's No One There. I Hear Singing and There's No One There. Of course you know it. Da, 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 Start again, start but again, start again. I hear singing and there's no one You'll need there. analyzing. It is not so surprising. Oh, that's that you a feel kind of strange but nice. <laughs> I do that while you're doing it. It's very difficult to do that now, good stuff. No, I don't say the power. We have to get the band and we'll have a go. Yeah? <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Oh, we'll look forward to that. That'd be great. Now then, yeah. I was reading about you and it was saying that you were, you were asked if you would do Celebrity Big Brother. Huh? And would... What happened? I mean, would you ever consider it even? I long to do Celebrity Big Brother. Do you? I went to a department store and bought myself black satin pyjamas. <laughs> no fool me. I thought, the string vest is wonderful, but not the Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and, but what happened was, it, we just couldn't make the dates fit. Uh. You know, my friend Vanessa did it. My friend yes. Anne Diamond did it. <laughs> Yeah. They went completely potty, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> so it hasn't put you off at all. Well, I stopped potty, so I thought I might, it might make me sane. <laughs> now, we always <laughs> seem to be in control, and, and I know you. You do like to know what's going on, and you know what the room and But there, you wouldn't know what was going on. That's you, the fun. That's you, the you, you really like this show. Anything can happen. It's very true. Yeah. Right, now, we've chatted many times on TV, so I tried to find... I tried to look at trivia things about you, things that I, I didn't know about you. Yeah. I didn't know, for instance, that you didn't leave home until you were 29. Uh, did you just not like doing laundry, or what, what was exactly the... Exactly right. <laughs> well, and my children, all three children are at home. Oh, the boys 25, 23, 21, and the occasional boyfriend. Only the daughters have boyfriends. <laughs> I allow anything to go on. <laughs> oh, you know, within reason. <laughs> you obviously make it very comfortable for them. They don't want to leave. That's the problem, isn't it? And the dog. And the dog. Yes, no, we have a good time. I think extended family is fun. Yeah. And I enjoyed living with my parents. So, uh, and... Were they quite lenient with you? Come in when you want to go out? Up to a point. Yeah, up to a point. Yeah. But they, um, they didn't think it was respectable when I left home at 29. Really? No. She's what? just flown the nest, the little hussy. Oh, <laughs> now, when you were last here, you just finished work on your documentary. Yeah. Nicholas Winter. Winter. Yes. That must have been very rewarding, but at the same time, quite an emotional journey, I would have thought. Extremely. In case people don't remember Nicholas Winton, Sir Nicholas Winton, as he now is, yeah. was the man who, when he was quite young, in Prague before the war, he just managed to save eight trainloads of Jewish children from the Holocaust. And they were the only Czech Jewish children to survive of that generation. And bless his heart, he invited me after we did the documentary. Uh, he invited me to his 94th birthday. Guess how he celebrated? He went up in a micro light at <laughs> 94. Oh my God. So heaven knows what he's going to do for his 95th. <laughs> I watched that. It was very emotional mm. with some of the children who obviously would not be here but for him and his intervention. Absolutely. 5,000 yeah. people alive today because of him. You've in your own way, nothing quite as dramatic as that, but probably even more have been affected. You're a pat patron and a keen sport on so many solid charities, we wouldn't have time to mention them all. Uh, have you any idea how many children, for instance, you would have... Childline, I'm getting to. Mm. How many children do you think have benefited from the fact that Childline is there, a place to run to? 
Well, we know that we have counselled in depth a million and a half children in the 17, nearly 17 years that Child Eyes existed. We know we've saved lives. What is fantastic is because my face is associated with the charity people talk to me about, um, the effect it's had on their lives. And, and I've never forgotten being at some other charity event and a young woman ran across the courtyard climbing over ribbons that had been laid out because there was going to be a royal visit, you know. Um, and she came up to me and she threw her arms around me and she said, I want to thank you for Childline because without Childline I'd be dead. And she told me that she'd been very badly injured at home and she'd run <laughs> to a public phone box. And our counsellor had kept her on the line and sent an ambulance. Otherwise she would have bled to death. And you, uh, the royal person came, but I have to tell you that the person I remember from that was that girl. And you'll imagine I ran back to Childline because the thing is, because these children ring us, and we are usually don't have an opportunity to meet them or hold them or talk to them yeah, face to that face. That close, it would have double the impact. To, to actually to meet one of those children uh, wow. and to hear how much it meant. Fantastic work, don't ever stop. Now, yeah. the other bit of trivia, the yeah. word of trivia, when you started out, you started out as a sound effects person on radio. I did. So we brought some sound effects in <laughs> and I'm going to read a story. <laughs> kind of thrown this out at the last minute. To be honest, we told you just before we came on edge, you know, all right, I'll try it. I'm going to read a story here for you okay. and you've got to try it and then fill in the sound effects, okay? Now, uh, these, these, some of these sound effects are your own invention, are they not? So, <laughs> <laughs> dear right, Lord. Right, uh, let me know when you're ready to go. <laughs> all right, hang on, all hang right. on. Okay, you know, you're getting all your props. I would like to tell you that I was 25 when I did this for a living. So oh, you'll remember it. About five years yes, ago. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Okay. It was a dark night. The rain splashed down. The rain splashed down. Okay. <laughs> it didn't splash much, did it? A lone horseman galloped through the cobbled oh, streets. Oh, you do this way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> he, he just fell off his horse out there. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> 